So that's the way I manage my risk on a very uh, on a quant basis. So I do it with maths rather than on my field thinking that oh, this today's the big one. I'm going to go in a bit heavier. The reason why is because, like Axel said, I write down every trade that I take and I put a percentage score on my confidence level. Mm. And honestly, I'd say 75% of the time, the ones I'm least confident about win. Yeah. So I'm not trusting that intuition of going bigger when I think it's right. Yeah. I'm not trusting it. I just go with what my statistics are telling me rather than my intuition. That's why I really do respect some of the other traders that go big when they feel like they're really right because it, uh, I, I'm not that guy. I love that. How important is that though in terms of knowing yourself, you know, knowing your, your habits and your traits? It's good. And you know, when we talk about pros and cons of strategies, I would probably say that's maybe a con of the way I trade because I'm never going to be that guy that has that, you know, 50, 60, 70 grand day. Mm. I, I, I'm at peace with that now because I've tried to do it and I've lost the money. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have... <laughs> so in terms of strategy though, do yeah. you have people using the exact same strategy who are able to sort of identify that? Yeah, so I'm going to name drop. So one of my traders is called Marta. We actually call it the Marta Method. Okay, really? Yeah, <laughs> in, like in our trading community, we call it the Marta Method. So what she does is she trades the same way as me and then um, she'll drop down to a one minute chart and she'll run her trades as much as possible until the one minute turns. So she can, on the same trade as me where I'll take two to one, she'll sometimes get five or six to one wow. because she'll she'll like microscopically drop down to a lower time frame and wait until she waits for the reversal candlestick pattern on that time frame to get out. 